The work in the field has been completed. It will be the lab and forensics evidence now guiding detectives. Our work is just now beginning. Uh, we are working in conjunction with, again, with our coroner's office with uh, missing exploited people uh, as far as trying to figure out who this person may be. For two days, search teams scoured this rough hillside, searching for additional remains and physical clues. It's, it's rough to get down to there, uh, especially with the rain didn't help with matters. It was very slippery and uh, there's a lot of things that are down there, uh, just debris that uh, over years that people throw down there, that makes it rough to sort through as well. The discovery of a human skull sent crews into the field, searching at times inch by inch for bone fragments. So when you have a team dedicated to come out and help anytime you ask them to help, um, it is really a benefit for us because it's extra eyes and it's extra sets of hands to get out there on their hands and knees and, and work hard. Dave Rader and his Texas EquiSearch teams brought additional remains out of these thick woods. Fragments too small at times to be recognized by the untrained eye, but critical to making a positive ID. I mean, the more that you can get, uh, the more that the coroner can tell uh, maybe the cause of death, how long that, that individual has been there. That ID could mean peace for a family, closure for a relative. Any chance that we as a police department can do to bring that closure to the family is what we want to do. So my detectives and uh, this department, along with everyone else helping, have been working diligently the moment we found out we had a uh, remains found. Now for now these technicians continuing their work it'll be a combination of forensic and physical evidence that will help them make that identification but again their efforts coordinated through multiple agencies. Reporting live from the Hamilton County Coroner's Office, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5.